Hi everyone, and we are back with our dragons from our How to Train Your Dragon set. And as you can see, I'm wearing these dragon onesies. I love this onesie, it's like my favorite one. It resembles a Chinese dragon. I used to perform in it all the time. It was one of my favorites because I found this amazing headpiece at Comic-Con. Isn't that awesome? It's so goofy-eyed and cartoony. It kind of reflects my personality, right? Kind of goofy and cartoony. This here was the brand new dragon they released just last year. This is Muglug. He was for the last movie they did, and now they're doing another movie. Isn't that crazy? Because people just love those movies. They love the storyline. And he is just too adorable. He's like huge and thick and huggable. I can't remember. Were you 35 when you started? I don't know. I know he was one of the cheaper ones because he's big and bulky. And I love these bat-like wings, a little bat-like, kind of like phalanges here. It makes it look like he's a bat. I don't know why. Um, can you imagine having wings this small if you're this big? Do you think he could actually fly? In reality, like dragons were massive creatures, and uh, they were resembled uh, the one who was the one from uh, Egyptian, Ra thought him. Um, any rate, there's an Egyptian dragon. I forgot his name. It escapes my mind really this time. Old age, but there's an Egyptian dragon, and he was like six men tall. Is what they said. He was really long, so he would have had to have massive, massive wings to fly his big bulbous body and it was theorized that his that earthquakes and thunderstorms were caused by his roar and that raw whenever the sunset was battling him and a solar eclipse is when they uh clashed so and then he was finally defeated by the god set which is really awesome so in all cultures even in egypt they had all this documentation of dragons and their hieroglyphics and and what they represented uh, again, probably just because they saw lots of giant dinosaur bones and it inspired all the dragon tales. And so the gods would often fight these dragons. Um, dragons have both been seen as both malevolent and um, benevolent. But I love Muglug here. You can see with his lighter fur, the scale's a lot better. He's got this textured fur, which is amazing. Um, most of my dragons, I didn't put sounds in them because I was just happy to get them to complete my set. You know, and the sounds were all pretty much the same because if you get the you know, the lion, I can get the, uh, there was a lion's roar at one time, and there's the T-Rex roar. You can put in them so they all have kind of roars. But uh, I'm gonna be ex I'm excited to get Toothless his own roar. I haven't done it yet. I've been so busy working, but because it's cool and they have their own sounds. And these, these guys don't have their own sounds. You kind of have to just improvise or put a laugh in them, like I did with Toothless, make it a funny one. Uh, that's what I love about it. You can customize it. Um, look at this bulbous tail here. Is that what it is in the movie? I can't remember. He has this really cool bulbous tail. I only saw the movie once. I have to go get it. I don't have that one on my sets. Even with all the movies I have, I don't have Toothless for the for second Toothless. Isn't that crazy? I think all the movies. But he has these piercing yellow eyes. That's why he wear the yellow glasses. We match it, right? Isn't that awesome? So yeah, this guy is amazing. Um, I did check the site recently, and right now he is showing as out of stock. Um, don't let that discourage you. It happens a lot, especially when they bring a new release out. These movies make these things so super popular. I imagine by the time the movie's out, they're going to have um, a bunch more of these in stock. But just have to keep your eyes open. Uh, because he is still fairly new, though, you can still find him on eBay pretty cheap. So Because he hasn't shown his discontinued yet. He's just currently out of stock. You just can't find him online. You might get lucky and find him in one of your stores. I'm sure he's in store somewhere. Just hiding on a shelf somewhere and no one has noticed it yet. Because, again, he was just out last year. But he is absolutely amazing. And he does complete my slowly um, How to Train Your Dragon set. It's not the end of my Dragons set, but it's the end of the How to Train Your Dragon set. We still have a couple more, as well as the Dragon Trainer, so you have to stay tuned if you want to see what they are. They are some rarer ones, a little harder to find, but they are amazing uh, pieces to my collection. And they are a couple of my favorite dragons that I collected because of what they mean for me. They're just amazing, because I love dragons and I am a dragon, right? And, hey, Build-A-Bear, do more dragons, because I will collect every dragon you make. Let's just be honest. I mean, love dragons. are amazing. Have all of them just the dragons. It'd be awesome, huh? You have all these buddies. So amazing. So, again, you want to see what dragon we bring out next, you got to subscribe, like, join, come ha have fun with us. Come see what comes out next. I'm so excited to show you guys. And, again, go get your dragons and Build-A-Bear before they run out. Don't let them run out. We'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day.